Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another monster video. So, in today's video, we will be checking out the new treasure cave monster, which is actually a legendary monster. Surprisingly, uh, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I've never, uh, I never thought I actually would see a legendary monster in the treasure cave. I mean, we've seen alpine monsters and all that. You know what I mean? They keep releasing all that uh, monsters, and then now. We have actually have a legendary monster, so I'm gonna go ahead and check that out. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been saying, and I've actually seen a couple of screenshots actually being shared as well about this. Uh, in case you didn't know, with the new season, they decided to release a legendary monster for the very first time, which shocked everybody. Like, I mean, a lot of players. Like, look at that. I mean... Isn't, isn't that crazy? So rank 3 we have Valgarde Pure. Um, so I'm not sure if that's actually a mistake by their end or if this is actually something that they're going to be uh, rolling out as now on. But if you're not familiar with this monster, it is actually a VIP uh, Valgarde Pure right here guys. And this monster was actually very good back then when he first got released or actually somewhat good. I mean he, he wasn't that really that bad. Um, players were definitely using it on PvP. Uh, it was one of the first few obviously and then Xyla got came, you know, Xyla came out eventually and this monster was just uh, obliterated and she was actually very good uh, because Voltic at the time was also dominating on PvP so she came out and she started dominating as well um, but it was Scar and then eventually Xyla actually took in the uh, what you might call it the place you know what I mean so Xyla basically replaced Scar in a way but um, yeah I mean these were some really cool monsters back then when they first got released their designs were something else like especially scar this this was never seen before and it, it looks so cool i mean look at that it still looks very cool right uh and then valkyrie up here also looked very very nice like these guys looked so shiny i feel like sp did this on purpose and that definitely made players want to actually spend uh money on these monsters like look at this one nox you know what i mean so anyways a valgrade appear i actually own one of these guys um it's actually a vip and i do own this monster uh legendary i think it's a light element there it is valgrade appear so uh i have the monster here and i never actually hashed it i guess i'll keep it in my storage i mean there's there's really no point because i don't have any space anyways uh in the monster vault and yeah so I, I guess i'll just leave it there but i'm gonna go ahead and start it actually oh so campaign actually ended so that there won't be i mean i don't want to start a war because i would rather just like take a break you know what i mean for for team from team war so it's fine i guess we could uh just leave it the way it is uh but right now there's surveys and there's tasks tasks you could actually get two times two amount of gems which is actually very nice uh but yeah like i said treasure cave guys let's go ahead and get into it now this is the thing is uh, our first one's obviously going to be free so we can enter technically uh but we if we do get hit with a trap uh, on whatever room it's going to cost us gems so let's see if we can actually make it to room 30 with just like maybe five gems or something i don't think uh i don't think we could do that but we could definitely give it a try i mean it, it, we've done it before so if we could do it again that would be very cool um but let's see so you know what I'll do? I'll actually go with uh, the same exact pot over and over again uh, until room 30. And if it, hopefully that works out. Um, it has worked out before to, for me. Oh, there we go. We got hit with a trap. I jinxed it. <laughs> uh, I mentioned it too early. But uh, if we get hit with the next one, it's actually going to cost us 10 jumps. So we've, we've got to be careful. You know what I mean? Obviously. Um, shall we try our other trick where we actually uh, follow the, uh, which you might call it the gray key? Or should we just go back to room 3 or pot 3, sorry. Should we just do pot 3 again? Because it uh, looks like they actually switched it up a little bit. I thought they were actually going to continue going with pot 3. I have a strong feeling he's going to be right here. But, oh no, I should have actually trusted my gut. Okay, well I could either leave or I can actually spend the 10 gems and continue. I'd, I'd rather just leave. The thing is though, this monster is obviously not worth the 150 gems. If you do obtain the monster for like 5, 10 gems or something, that's completely fine. The max you should spend for this monster would be like probably... 50 gems 50 gems would probably be acceptable because on top of that you're going to be getting tickets as well right so i'm sure you'll get some tickets on the way uh and then obviously some of your gems return as well for sure so it, it'll be worth the 50 gems because you're also going to be getting a break three uh backward appear in your collection by the way the funny thing is this monster actually got released a while back for 20 dollars like you could actually get this monster's egg for 20 dollars imagine that um and then you know now it's obviously you, you could rake it up and stuff like that uh it's a ranked up version but you could also obtain this monster another way and that is through 
unless they actually changed it they probably got rid of it yeah there used to be this uh one chest here it was a vip chest and they actually got rid of it it seems like so it makes sense why they are bringing it back because they got rid of his uh egg in here but it was him and a part uh like a bunch of other also like uh what should i call it a bunch of other vip monsters were also in there but all these other ones are runes obviously and then these ones are obviously ancestral rock chest with a bunch of runes plus uh we have mythic monsters obviously um i don't know they could have just kept the vip chest on the side or something but they didn't i don't know why they just got rid of it uh because i mean it makes sense because that that thing was there for a very long time like a while you know what i mean so it kind of makes sense uh, why they actually didn't do anything about it um and until you know eventually when they got rid of it uh so anyways we have sting west claw and it seems like i don't have this monster which is actually surprising because if i have no oh, you know what's crazy i really thought i had this monster already i i had a strong feeling i had the monster but apparently i didn't uh that's okay that's quite interesting uh but i'm gonna go ahead and collect the elementians because i do need the elementians right now you guys know i recently have been playing coliseum again and for, for the Colosseum, you actually need those. Um, the thing is, though, it seems like a lot of players are actually... Speaking of Colosseum, by the way, a lot of players are actually using Chiolong now uh, in here. So that might be in a new move. Also, guys, I know this is very random, but you got to try this drink right here, guys. It's called Aloe Vera. And uh, if you could actually find the drink of it, um, this is what it looks like. And it is very good. I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, it is not sponsored, obviously, but um, it's pretty cheap. And purchase one and what i need you to do is actually store it um you have it cold you know what i mean you don't want to have it warm it tastes better when it's cold all right and it's also very good it actually hydrates you pretty good uh none of that um what should i call it none of that other crap with uh you know energy drinks or anything like that it's not an energy drink it is something that's actually uh good for your health uh but anyways so <laughs> enough of that um look at this guys the players are actually using chill long uh there there is a, a player here that actually continue like it's still using the what should I call it the two bunny barks and I assume uh he has to have like a level 13 or 14 rune in there maybe maybe actually 7 million damage is no 7 million is doable I did 7 million what am I saying I literally did 7 million uh if I do hard I might actually be able to actually like get through it um better let me see so 4k speed they all have a lot of speed I feel like I'm actually gonna die here for sure if they actually uh, land like a really heavy head uh but if we could actually work around it that would be nice uh if they you know maybe miss oh never mind there we go he actually attacked me and, and just destroyed me uh but i was thinking maybe if we got the first turn we could have actually blinded this monster that would have that would have actually oh it's immune to blind we could have possessed it yeah supercharged okay so all we have to do really is beat that 4600 speed um we can definitely do that i feel like i've you know what's you know what's crazy i feel like i could actually do that um so it, it has 3800 this one has 4400 yeah with the 4400 i have i have a feeling i could actually do that um so i just need like uh, about 200 more speed so if anything what if i trade in this team strength and i go with the speed here uh i feel like that'll definitely help me out too so yeah 5k what if we take in the first turn and we actually just possess them or blind them you know both so we could actually do this and they'll get in the turns it's completely fine um the thing is though i oh no oh no that's not good um what I was going to do, what if I do my damage boost? No, if I do my damage boost, actually, I don't know. Um, I'm going to, I want to total blind them as well. I want to blind them actually. Uh, in the next turn, we could actually do their damage boost. So I'll do my blind here. Unfortunately, it missed on the other two. Uh, because what I was going to do, I was actually going to blind the other two, but they're actually immune to it. Um, and then I could have saved this double damage. Or I could have done the double damage in the next turn. I could have actually done my damage boost. But it looks like he actually got rid of him. He just wiped out my monster. So I can't, I can't really do it. Oh, there it is. There's my attacker. So I can't really do anything there. Um, if anything, we could probably go with like a life rune. But no, that's not going to that's not gonna do it. Um, I'm actually going to switch out the speed rune and go with like a team speed here. And let's try this out now. So they should be actually slower. So that's good. Um, what we can do in the beginning, I can either do my damage boost or uh, I could just blind him. So looking at the turn order here, this one's taking it first turn, right? so okay so this one should actually do the damage boost first yeah so she can do the damage boost and then growler does a dark weakness and then she does the possession of total blind like this and so for next turn when um i actually get the turn and hopefully none of my monsters dies uh i can actually do my double damage and then growler gets us into turn and basically just swipes them all up, uh, off you know what i mean something like this so moderate dark damage aoe there it is deals damage and gets rid of all of them and that's only like a one wave and that should actually be oh my gosh look at that 10.8 million second place in the uh stone arena guys so obviously there's going to be players that will actually like beat that eventually but for now 
10 million on our first goal actually not our first goal second goal and the first one we actually messed up uh but there it is i mean it's not bad uh i want to see my actual ranking so just from one battle i was able to pull off uh top 18 uh, but again, if I actually go with Chiyo Long, which I do own the monster, uh, I feel like I could actually definitely do more because of that, um, like, I think it's a 0.5 or 1x, um, a bonus, you know what I mean? Let me see where this monster actually is. So if we try to see if we can find this monster, there it is. So Chiyo Long, we could actually go ahead and, uh, throw in some of those fire, and then we'll throw in a bunch of elementiums. We can convert these and rank the monster up. Now we're getting it to 95, and eventually we'll, we'll hopefully max it out if we can. But, uh, yeah, guys, so there will be another Colosseum video, uh, coming out very soon. Make sure to subscribe to see that and have notifications on. But anyways, guys, uh, again, if you haven't watched out my recent, uh, like seasonal video where i actually did the new update like i checked out the new update and everything including the legends pass battle pass and all that good stuff uh make sure you check that out uh because if that video actually hits 400 likes i will do a giveaway okay for uh the passes so make sure to you know go ahead and drop a like in that video if you guys want to see a, a giveaway but yeah guys it's gonna wrap it up i think you'll just watching let's see the next one peace out